Yes, the making of the drums. So sit down, relax, and see how drums are made in my village. These are the young boys in my village who are doing this. Please join and watch and enjoy. Thanks. Okay. Welcome to my channel, Talk Watch the World. Please subscribe if you're new. So today we are going to see how a drum is made in my village. And these two young boys are the guys who are going to make these drums. I hope you enjoy watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe. So this is how drums are made in my village. Uh, they ordered three small drums. And they are going to be made now. But that's what they do. They make drums and other small sculpt sculptures. So welcome to this. I hope you enjoy this. Don't forget to like and share. And to hit the notification button so you get messages as soon as I post a new video. Thank you very much. yes as you can see this is just this is just a log of tree it might look like something useless but that is the raw material these boys need so they have to get as many as they can different sizes and then start basically bring up the shape of a drum out of it now the raw material they need is basically a log and hide and skin or a skin of a cow now when they get those of course they they will, they will buy the skin from the butchers then put it in the sun to dry now when they put it into dry after that they have to soak it in water to become soft now from the from the skin of the cow they get the they cut the threads and also the the one they used to cover the top and the bottom now the thread is to join the top of the bottom of the drum so they've been doing this for very long time since they're young they have grandfather used to do it and taught their father who in turn taught them and actually they say they weren't really taught but their father told them you stick around and learn this you never know so now here they are cutting the threads out of the cow skin. Now they, they must be very, very, very long. And then once, once they cut them, they have to wash them because to get out that smell. When they wash them, they have to make them uh, into a string and dry them. They don't take long to dry because when I got here, they were just making them, and they told me now. They should, once they they put them to dry, they just takes like thirty minutes. And then they are able to to use them. The hardest bit is is to to shape a drum out of the log they get from the forest or any tree. So now here he has finished cutting the th the the leather into a thread. So is doing to see how long it should be then from there like i told you they wash them with soap to basically get out the smell because some you know if you soak leather into water it will it will it has that funny smell so they wash that one out then this boy will make that into now she is making it into a thread it is very very long so they tie one end to a tree and then he does this so that the whole the whole of it is basically looking like a thread and then it dries in that shape once once it's dry now they can get it to basically start making the drum um now like CGS is using a chisel to also create to make that hole because it must be a, a, a hollow 
it must be hollow inside basically that's how it brings out a good sound then both bottom tom, bottom and top are open then when that when they are open basically they connect the lower part with the upper part with those threads and now uh, apart from because they've not been doing this as a business so when i when i heard about them i came because they told me we needed a drum so i came to see them they told me no we normally do this on on order because it takes long for people to buy them so i thought uh, maybe this is something we can work on in the future to create a craft shop in the town or along the the highway so they can make as many drums and other sculptures and put there and of course my clan also they make other stuff. so i thought if we can create a shop where they put the things maybe it can be a good business to earn them something so now like this one you see this is the leather cow skin which they put in the sun to dry now when it dries they cut them into pieces like these ones you see then they soak them into a drum of water that way when they are soft it is easier to basically make holes in them or even cut them into threads to be able to use as a final product uh these are like the family dogs they stick around of course they also try to eat the leather when it is not washed properly or when it is rotting somewhere now here is the drum where they soak the 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 skin of a cow that they later use to either cover the drum or to make threads out of so after these are the shapes they have gotten out of those logs those are the drums we we ordered so basically now that one they are already all they need now is to start to cover the bottom and the top and saw them so now yes and now he has to put the top he has to measure the size that he needs to cover the top so by putting that he encircles it to mark to mark the place and then cuts it out the top as you can see must be round then it makes holes those holes are the ones where the threads passes for him to start sewing the drum and the bottom is a different shape which is square now the holes on the bottom of the drum should be the same number of holes on the bot on the on the top of the drum this one because each thread that goes so these are the threads now after they have dried from the hide and skin the one you saw the, one of them making earlier so he has to cut out the shape he wants that he has measured after placing the top of the drum and then once that shape is is out and he knows that yes this is the shape i want the size i want he has to bring now the the bottom now the bottom shape is is square as you can see that's how it is square because it has to to be pulled to join up with the top so they put squares that it is like some it looks like a zigzag figure there are two boys but they have other boys in the village who they would help them and they also get to learn now those boys need the skill as well because sometimes they are overwhelmed with orders that they need a hand because when they are only two and their sisters cannot do that that has been like one of the funny things in my culture there are things girls cannot do it's like when you go to the forge i showed you early sometime back in my in the forge in, in, my, in our clan you never find women there it is very very rare 
so now that is the bottom it must be square then after that he also makes the same holes like he made so this one is counting how many holes are on the top and then he will tell tell him that there are 112 holes which means at the, the bottom also should also have 112 holes so once that is done they are all put then they start connecting them now that's how he makes the holes on the leather so he start putting the threads into it to be able to join that sort they call setting so now he's setting he's setting the drum the drum up Puts the top on. The process of sewing the drum can take a few hours. The only the hardest bit or the one that takes long is getting the shape, sculpturing it out of a log. That one takes long because you have to make a hole into a log. So that normally takes longer, but once they have made all that sewing and then you have the leather and the threads ready the rest really takes a few hours so this one basically uh, it took me two days to come and cover this this process so now that's when he's setting up now to start the sewing of the drum now he has to alternate the holes so that it is balanced, the leather is balanced. And right now that leather on top and the bottom is wet, so it is soft, which means it is easier to, it is somehow elastic and is easier to, to pull. But the threads made, those ones is using, for them they are dry. So even pulling them can hurt the finger, the hands basically. But of course, he said they have, they have gotten used to it. Now, for me, when I'm here, I was just thinking, how can I help them? How can I make it uh, better for them? Because right now, it is like from hand to mouth. Uh, like when we order those drums, we gave them a deposit. Then they started the process. And once they finish the drum, we pay them the balance and get the drums. But I thought if they can make it a business whereby every day they wake up and make this drum. Now here is a sample of our drum. See how it looks. But this is not yet finished. They just need to be tightened a bit. So that was, they've all been set up now. So the remaining bit is to tighten to make sure it is really tight to bring out a good sound. So we just have to wait a few minutes, and then you'll do that tightening. Julius. Julius. So now these are loose, but after it is going to tighten them, then the drum will be ready. So this you can play our traditional dance, Konge, Njige, Oraki. Any go around there? I'm going to take a little bit of meal. 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 Little bit of Yes, but watch to the world. Don't forget to subscribe.
to my channel hit the like button and share so our drums were nearly done which made it good for us because during the first push, the festive season it's normally very dry and there's a lot of entertainment people only what you do they harvest food and there's a lot to eat and then of course we have many visitors from the city most people in this country have homes like traditional homes like this one and then in the eve in in December, like I say, first season they come home for Christmas. That's when they meet family. So there's a lot of entertainment and eating, a lot of partying basically. Now this is another one of the sculptures they also make. This is a man carrying a spear and the axe. So they make those as well, and they look so so nice. So I think with all goes well, we'll be able to help them to set up something so that it becomes an income generating business for them but of course it will not be easy now after everything now is is tightening the drum as you can see they looked loose there but now it pulls them to make sure they are so so tight and now that's what brings the sound the good sound of a drum and that's what determines who is the best drum maker in the village and these boys are making a name for themselves you see how tight he has made those ones so he has to do that all round and not only once about three or four times and now after that the drums were ready so it is time for us now to start practicing our traditional dances the kids the the gentlemen ladies we are all going to enjoy this and dance to the drums thank you very much for watching see you in the next video